Welcome back. <clears throat> so, there's a next problem. And this problem, as you can see, was asked in the previous uh, question paper. The problem reads like this. There's a collar that can slide on a vertical rod and that is subjected to three forces as shown in the figure. You want to find out the angle alpha, right? There are two angle alpha, which are, uh, the values are not, value is not given. And uh, you are told the resultant of these three forces is horizontal, right? You also are expected to find out the corresponding magnitude of the resultant. Okay. So this is a collar which can slide up and down, right? And you have forces 1, 2 and 3. Right. So we can, you know, treat these forces, obviously they are passing through a single point. So they are coplanar, they are concurrent forces because they are passing through a single point. Uh, you are told that uh, the resultant is horizontal. Right. So there is, when the resultant of these three forces is horizontal, that means there is no vertical component of these forces because the resultant is horizontal. Right. So that's, that's something which we know. So it means we can say if we resolve all these three forces vertically, we can equate them to zero. And if you do that, then you should find out the angle alpha. So which means let's start. We will do, we will say sigma fy is equal to zero. Why? Because the resultant is horizontal and we want to determine the value of that resultant, which is horizontal. So that means sigma fy is zero. And if you want to do that, just Resolve the forces, so this is 70, resolved vertically, 70 sin alpha, it will be positive. I am treating this as x, positive x-axis is positive y-axis, negative um, y-axis and leftward, negative x-axis. So, 70 sin alpha plus 90, it is vertical, plus 90. Uh, come to this force, third force, when you resolve it, um, in this direction, right, it's going to be downward, right, and you know, we always, our discipline is that we consider the force um, which this force makes with the horizontal direction, that means this is going to be 90 minus alpha, it's a matter of just discipline. So we are saying is that, you know, the force uh, resolved vertically, it's going to be 130 cos of 90 minus alpha, right, cos of 90 minus alpha, and that is going to be downwards, so it is going to be minus 130 cos of 90 minus alpha and this is equal to 0 and if you solve this you will get the angle alpha and this angle is uh, uh, this angle is 24.14 14 degrees right so you have found out alpha once you find out that's first answer Find, once you find out alpha, you want to find out the magnitude of the resultant, which is in horizontal direction. That means you want to find out fx, sigma fx. Note, this is not zero. This is in fact have some value because there is, resultant is in horizontal direction. So just uh, put the values, resolve all the forces in x direction. Uh, this will be 70 cos alpha. Alpha is 24.14. So 70 cos of 24.14. Uh, this 90 will have no horizontal component because this makes 90 degrees with horizontal. And this again uh, will be making an ang some angle uh, with the horizontal. By the way, uh, I have made a mistake here. Let me correct this. Uh, this is not cos. This is, let me correct this. I'm sorry. This is going to be, when you vert resolve this vertically, you know, this 130 resolving vertically, this is going to be 130 sine of 90 minus alpha. So, sorry for that. Sine of 90 minus alpha. Hope this is clear. 130 sine of this angle, sine of the angle which the force makes with horizontal uh, gives you vertical component. It's downward, so it's minus. Fine. So now we are resolving horizontally. Uh, this is, and the answer of course is same because the answer picked up uh, directly. We have not calculated it here. Uh, sigma fx is 70 cos 24.14. Uh, this 130 again resolved horizontally, it will be positive 130 cos of 90 minus 24.14. Okay, so this is going to be added and you get the answer um, that is the resultant. Sigma fx is resultant r and 
that r is 117.04 let's say newton right so that's your answer thank you